This mm -hmm. there's an individual on YouTube. His name is Big Facts. I like his perspective. His perspective is different from mine. I listen to this guy. He gives a different perspective. It's comical. It's fucking like different, and it makes you feel as if oh you're not the same like guy who's who call the cops like academics or who's not about that shit like academics or who don't have big mama like academics. Mm -hmm. You now feel different, and I listened to that guy, and I said, yo, this shit is dope. I listened to him in a car for two days. Get your shit together, be home. Yo. All right, welcome back to the Big Facts Podcast on the line. Right now, you know how we do it. Whenever we do interviews, we do interviews for a purpose. <laughs> and usually we go against the popular um, theory. Um, on the line, we have Young Fletcher. If you don't know who the fuck Young Fletcher is, this is the $6.6 .6 million winner of the Yo Gotti lawsuit. And it's like, um, let's just get straight out the box, man. Like, you know, everybody obviously knows who you is. Like, you sued the king of Memphis. You know what I'm saying? So you obviously know that everybody is going to be looking at you like, you know, clout chasing shit like that. Nobody wants to look at the business side of this shit. So I'm just going to give you the floor, man. Like, what happened? Oh, man. Um, shit, probably about two and a half, three years ago, we reached out to bro and his team about doing a record. Um, the, the number they threw out there probably was about 30, 40, 40K for the record. You know what I'm saying? But he asked me to send the record and, you know what I'm saying, just kind of see what it, you know, so I guess if he'll fuck with it. He fucked with the record, he hit me back, hit us back, so to, he'll do it for 20K. So he was showing love, you know what I'm saying? Like, he really was looking out. Yo Gotti being one of my favorite artists was pretty much one of the only reasons. Like, I'm really not even big on that whole feature shit, you know what I'm saying? It ain't no clout chasing situation. We wanted to, I, I fuck with bro, uh -huh. and we reached out to him, he did, he, he fucked with the record. Uh, he did the shit, he did the record, he sent it back. I started talking to um, the president of his label at that time, Brandon Mims, I think it's his family as well. And uh, we were pretty much doing all of, you know, the paperwork, trying to get everything situated. Um, I guess they were fucking with me so much. Bro, wanted, uh, Brandon Mims wanted to sit down and, and, and discuss business, you know what I'm saying, just on, like, what I guess what my situation was, like, who I was signed to, who my management was, and at that time, <clears throat> I, I didn't have management, but I was working with the label SBD, which I'm signed to now. So What's the label name again? SBD, Stack Dollars Empire. Okay. But long story short, bro, we sat down with we sat down with Brandon Mim. Again, we were getting all the paperwork together. Um ho, ho, so, so, actually, so, so so you were actually gonna sign with, with uh so what what is what is your guy who's label? I don't know who you signed with. CMG. CMG. I I'm saying is that is that that's the I, so he's not signed with like so C M G isn't under like Interscope of Death Jam or something like that? I'm not sure exactly who the major label is that they signed to. But uh, I'm, I, I, I know for a fact they are signed to some major label. I just don't know which one it is. Okay. Um, but like I said, you know what I'm saying? We were sitting down talking to Brandon Mims, the president of CM, you know, CMG. Uh-huh. And um, at that time, we were just kind of like, you know, just, just you know, chopping it up and just figuring out a game plan. A game plan for Whatever. you or a game plan for the record? A game plan for the record at that time. Okay. We're talking about a game plan for the record. Shit started to go left when it was like some backdoor shit going on. Like, like you know I'm signed to SDE, but you want to sit down and talk to me without them around on some shit like, you know what I'm saying, how would you like signing to CMG? So I didn't entertain it. You know what I'm saying? Right off the rip, I felt like it was some fuck shit. Like, yo, you know I'm signed to S you know, uh, SDE. That, that, that ain't the business, bro. We ain't, we don't, that's this lawyer, like, the niggas who walking me to the door right now, you want to backdoor them, push them out the way, and then, you know what I'm saying, try to have me work with CMG, that shit ain't going to work. So I played it cool, you know what I'm saying? I went and don't snap out about it or blank out about the shit. So I just, just told them I didn't think that was the best move. Mm. 
as soon as I told him that I didn't feel like that was the best move, like, all the communication stopped. You know what I'm saying? Like, everything. You know what I'm saying? And then we had been talking at that time for probably about three or four weeks, almost a month. Okay. So once the communication stopped, we had already had email trails going back and forth, not only with Brandon Mims of CMG, we were also talking to your guy's attorney, which they were all in, they were all cool with, like, you know, signing off on the record, getting it out so we can put it on all the platforms. And, and let me let me interject right there. I'm gonna definitely need a couple of those just so we can make sure that everything is so, so the people can see what's going on because we've already established that there is a couple of imitation young Fletchers going around. So the way right. that the way that we're gonna shut down that whole uh, how do you know this the real one is we'll show those emails. Yeah yeah yeah. So I got those too. Like if I need to send them to you, like we got that. We'll do it. Um, so yeah, basically it was email trail back and forth, you know, between the label president and the lawyer, at, you know, his lawyer, that they were going to sign off on his record. Like it would be no problem. Like we paid the money. Like we we did everything that we were supposed to do on our end. It's both. Yeah, it's like you know what I'm saying. Like we 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 just wanted to do good business, correct business. We didn't want to do none of this street shit. So. Everything was done paperwork-wise the right way. Mm-hmm. Again, once that whole idea of me not signing to CMG came about, all the communication stopped. It was basically like, fuck you, nigga. You know what I'm saying? If you ain't going to try to work with us over here, then, then fuck you. You know what I'm saying? So even at that time, bro, my mind was nowhere on suing Yo Gotti or no, nobody on his team because I, I just didn't feel like he did business like this. He just did an interview on Breakfast Club, saying that he would never do an artist like that. So I'm just thinking, like, maybe it's some shit going on. And, it's a, it's a misunderstanding. Just, it's a misunderstanding. It's, yeah, it's a misunderstanding. You know what I'm saying? So, damn, four, five, six months go by. Every time we try to upload the shit, anything, I'm talking about whether it's YouTube, iTunes, whatever we try to upload it to, the shit kept getting kicked back out because we didn't have the proper paperwork for the sign-off from your Gotti. Uploaded. So they were kicking it back down. CMG was kicking it back down because on YouTube, if if, if I upload something, uh, they'll they'll kick it when they kick it down. They'll let me know who the claimant is. They didn't do that for you. Nah, wait, bro, we got a cease and desist. Oh shit! Like, stop pushing the record. You know what I'm saying? Like you have to understand. Again, it wasn't just twenty bands that we put behind. You know, get the twenty bands that we gave your guy. No, bro, we had fucking bass. 75 bands over here for this radio and this over, you know what I'm saying? We had paid a lot of money for a lot of shit, so in that time frame of them four or five months, we was like, instead of letting this money just go to waste, fuck it, just let them go ahead and push it, you know what I'm saying? They already said that they, they were going to sign off on it, so again, maybe it's, they got some shit going on over here and they're going to they gonna get back with us later. Mm-hmm. When we got the cease and desist to stop pushing the record completely, that's when our hand was forced to go ahead and say, you know what, well, we got to do what we got to do. Definitely. You know what I'm saying? To, to not only protect our brand, but, you know what I'm saying, at least get our money back. Get my, God, yeah, get my goddamn money back. What the hell? You know what I'm saying? What the so, fuck? Like, yeah, go ahead. Yeah. So for two, 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 I say two years, we kind of went back. We went on and did the paperwork. I mean, for the first year, the whole situation of us, you know, starting the process and pursuing legal you know, legal actions against the whole situation. We couldn't we couldn't even get in contact with bro. You know what I'm saying? Like you can't just walk up to your guy and say, Here you go, you've been served. Exactly. He had to be, he had to be properly served. He That's had to right. get paperwork from a, a, a sheriff or whatever. Yep. So he had came to my hometown about a year ago. Mm. About a year I'm saying about a year ago and uh, did a car show. And that's when we was able to go ahead and properly serve him to go ahead and get the ball over. Mm-hmm. So for a whole year, like, we had been back and forth in court. You know what I'm saying? I had never seen Gotti. Um, the shit just kept getting continued, kept getting continued. This last court date, which was about a month ago, I think it was around my birthday. What fucked shit up, honestly, was bro was supposed to be in court, at least have his attorneys in court, and he was out on the yacht. 
You know what I'm saying? So I think the judge kind of looked at it as like on some shit, like, you know, it's disrespectful. It's disrespectful. You ain't taking it as a joke. Mm. You know what I'm saying? You ain't really taking the shit serious. So the settlement, that's when the settlement was hit. We only were suing for, we were suing for 2.2 again, which was the ideal of what we could have made from shows, what we could have made from streaming. Um, that's what have shit to do about. That was the potential income. That was potential income. Mm-hmm. On top of what we had already invested, we had already invested over a hundred and some thousand dollars. Again, it's not just paying him, paying for radio, paying mm-hmm. for fucking, you know, promotion and all this other, you know, shit that goes with it. Mm-hmm. Um, so again, once that settlement with it, we was all mind blown. You know what I'm saying? You got to understand, we weren't suing but for 6.6. We were suing for 2.2 with the idea of possibly getting back some of our money. We didn't even know if we were going to even get that. Mm. So when that shit went down like that, you know what I'm saying, of course, that's when his attorneys jumped on in real quick, and they filed for a motion. They filed for a motion, bro. So when they filed for the motion, the motion was to go in to see if they can get that 6.6 to be brought down to something a little bit more reasonable. Mm-hmm. And that's when, that was the first time I had seen Goddard. You know what I'm saying? When bro had came to court last Monday, that was the first time I had seen mm. throughout this whole process. You know what I'm saying? And, it, you know, and, and that was a weird situation too, but they got in courtroom. I know. It. The, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, before you got to understand, I, I really, I, I fuck with bro. I fuck with his music. He's somebody I've always looked up to and agree with shit. So, again, never did I ever want to take this approach. And then knowing how motherfuckers is going to look at it, niggas going to think I'm cloud chasing. That's niggas right. Gonna, it's a lot of shit, you know what I'm saying, that comes with this. So I never wanted to go that far. I was hoping even once we got to court last Monday that we would have came to some understanding. It would have been like, you know what I'm saying, uh, ownership and bro, hey, we fucked up. This is blah, 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 blah. But it was like on some cocky shit. It was like, mm. you know what I'm saying? But we wasn't, you know, they came in with the excuse of, hey, I wasn't properly served. It was like, well, you know, the judge is asking him what you mean you wasn't properly served. Like, he's like, well, the sheriff tried to give me the paper, but my security knocked it out of his hand. Mm. So it was like, you, so you come to court, you acknowledge that the, the, the sheriff was trying to give you some paper, but you say that your security knocked it out of his hand, like. Out of the sheriff's hand? Go ahead. You said out of the sheriff's hand? Yeah, like the sh- the deputy was giving, at the car show, the deputy was giving Gotti the fucking, he trying to serve him, like, I guess trying to serve him. Uh-huh. And his security kind of like knocked the paper out of like the sheriff's hand. Like, I don't, you know what I'm but like, how, how, I, I don't get that. That sounds kind of weird. Like, is it, who, who said that? No, oh, this is what Gotti's saying. This shit is public records. Like, this is, like, this is what they're saying. He's, okay. Gotti's excuse right now is that he wasn't properly served. Okay, so that, that's what the lawyers are going with. You are, okay, so uh, that, that I'm sure all they would have to do is subpoena that deputy to the court and see exactly what happened. I don't see anybody touching a fucking police officer, an officer of the court, and something not happening. There should be a report, uh, assault on a police officer. Police officers just don't get touched like that. Well, again, the police officer, I mean, the sheriff was there. And the sheriff got up and spoke and spoke and said that. He was like, I handed the paper to this guy right here, one of the young guys. Okay. Told him that this is who I gave the paperwork to. Okay. And as I was giving him the paperwork, this gentleman knocked it out of my hand. What the fuck? Yeah, I mean, I so, mean so, the crazy part about it is they are, they are admitting to knocking it out of his hand. That so, what does that mean for the case? I mean, the, the judge basically looked, he looked at that like that was some bullshit. You know what I'm saying? So you know what it was, you know what was going on, and you knocked it out of your you, you, you had your security knock it out of his hand. The security got up on the stand and said the same thing. Um, their excuse was, you know, what I'm saying that they they're there to protect God. They don't know what's going on. They didn't know who the deputy was, and you know, so many people running up and trying to get at him. They didn't know who he was. And they didn't. They were saying that they wasn't aware what was going on. And the judge basically looked at looked at that as like some bullshit, and he upheld the amount. Damn, that shit is so fucking crazy, dog. 
But yeah, in man. this business, it's so many different ways. Like, dog, that's 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 what I'm saying. Us as street niggas and us, it's, it's us, the street niggas, that's going into this fucking rap industry. And even if you're not a street nigga, niggas don't be getting no fucking passing a bar exam to be no fucking rapper. You know what I'm saying? It's so exactly. it's so many things that we don't know. But for him to be that cognizant to know, I I need to find a way to fuck this shit up so that we have a fighting chance in court. That's crazy as fuck. I I have uh, so so keep going. I don't want to interrupt until the end. Nah, so basically that's how the shit is. That's how the shit unfolded, man. Like I said before, I was hoping we would have got some. I mean, again, I never ever wanted to go against Gotti. Ever, you know what I'm saying? That's never that never was my intention. I know again, I know it's a lot of shit that come with that. You know what I'm saying? Going against a nigga with that kind of power, you got it's a lot of shit. But you know what I'm saying? I get death threats and I don't, I don't worry about none of that shit. But it's a lot of shit that comes with it. You know what I'm saying? And again, niggas think I'm clout chasing, but ah, it's all, it's about business at the end of the day. It's, 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 and hopefully, it's, yeah. Go ahead. No, no, I'm just saying, and hopefully at some point, you know what I'm saying? Once we get this shit situated, we can come to some type of happy median. And goddamn discussions as men or figure out what the fuck we got to do. You know what I'm I, saying? I'm going to be honest with you. Like, yeah, he's definitely not going to want to discuss anything with you like a man. At this point, you're just, and this is how he sees you. Like, there's some lowly fucking scrub. And I think that's how he saw it from the start. The blogs are reporting this as um, he took the song. Uh, so uh, you paid him to do a song. He didn't do the song. Um, and then not only did he not send a song back to you, um, he did a song that sounded just like that. And then, um, then when you sued for that shit, he tried to sign you and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? But you're saying like that shit didn't even happen. And it's crazy how these stories get fucking discombobulated. Yeah. But, but obviously what, what's going on is, is this thing looks like, um, just, I don't see how people can think, you know what I'm saying, like, I, I didn't put 20 racks on you, and you're going to knock my shit down. So do you actually have the song with him on it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got that back. Shit, we paid him for the verse, bro. We got that shit back 24 hours later. Okay, I'm going to lay this I, shit down in New York. I'm going to give you my email. Send me that damn song, whatever like that. I'm going to try to upload that motherfucker. What's the song's name? Pull up. Pull up. Check this out, though. I did a, I did the record with bro called Pull Up, and literally, uh, almost a year later, he had another song to come out called Pull Up with like some of the same lyrics in it. You know what I'm saying? So he did copy the song. I don't think he copied it word for word, but you know what I'm saying just just because of how shit was unfolding and how they started moving, my suspicions that led me to like, bro, that's not only is that the title of my song, you just say like. You know, say like two bars, like two or three bars from the song in this song. So it's like, did you have any intentions on releasing this shit, or did you like, uh, you know, what I'm saying we didn't. I didn't really know exactly what his intentions were. So. And and see and see, but see, and that's that's what I'm saying. I shouldn't have to guess if I if we're doing business. I shouldn't have to guess communication, and that's why with all the artists I deal with, dog, ain't no money gonna be. No transaction is going down until you fully understand what the fuck we about to do. I can't make nobody fuck with no artist, pure point blank. As a promoter, as someone who puts out music, I cannot make anyone fuck with your music. I can't make them come to your fucking channel. I can't make them do a motherfucking thing. It is on you and your talent to get them over there. All I can do is put them on a platform, give you good words. I can co-sign you and shit like that. And then it's on them to say, I fuck with that song. I don't fuck with that song. I fuck with his image. I don't fuck with his image. You know what I'm saying? But it's transparency from the start. If I'm, if I'm yeah. giving you $20,000, there shouldn't be any misunderstanding to I got to try to read your vibe to see what your intentions are. Hey, dog. Hey, hey my man, look. Um... Uh, I was trying to see what's going on with my song. Uh, sound like you didn't. So you saying on his verse, he used verse, he used bars from his verse on your song. He used bars, on, he used bars from my verse, from his verse on, that was on my on oh, my record. Okay. On another record called Pull Up. I okay. I can't even think of who the artist is. Um, 
But I mean, you Google the shit. Like yeah, I'm, I'm a Google. I'm a Google. I'm a Google it. And like I said, I'm gonna. Um, so this song, your song, Pull Up, has not been released yet. No, nah, it can't be released. It still says they haven't signed off on the record. Okay, so you're saying that. So I want to hear the record. I want to hear the record. You know what I'm saying? Send me the record, and I'll upload that shit. You know what I'm saying? You're saying that when I upload it, it's not gonna upload. I'm not saying it's not gonna upload. I'm just saying that it's a possibility that the shit could be like on some copyright infringement. Like they they may go ahead and just snatch you down. You might get hit with. That's listen, yeah, but, but, but see, but see, this the whole thing. I got I got channels for this shit, so I can do this shit. At this point in time, the people want to hear this song. The people want to hear what's Definitely. going on. You know what I'm saying? So send me the shit. You know what I'm saying? I'll put the shit out. You know what I'm saying? On one of the channels, and I'll let. All the viewers, I'm going to let y'all know where I'm going to put this song out at so that we can get down to what's really going on. Because with this whole thing, it's so much, and I didn't know it was this much misconceptions going on with this situation until I really delved into it. Until, you know, your homeboy hit me up and, and was telling me about the shit, and I'm looking into it. It's like five different fucking Fletchers. It's yeah, like five different crazy. motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? So I... What I'm trying to do with the emails and with the song is let people know, hey, this is the dude. This is him. Now, on your what? end, as far as your music career, I'm going to be brutally honest here. Okay, there was a rumor about Gucci, and there was a rumor about Jay-Z that I had um, an insider. You know what I'm saying? I had inside information on the story. And I did not break those stories because Gucci and Jay-Z are two people in this industry with, with everything, with where entertainment and the way it's sold, like where it's going, all of this shit is damn near combined. If they're, they're going to start putting podcasts in different places. I'm just going to say it like that. They're going to put podcasts in different places to where, as a podcaster, you can get signed to a record label, which has already really been done. You know what I'm saying? So right. we're all in the same space. Entertainment is entertainment because entertainment is, is going to be like a fucking, it's, like it's, it's worth more than a natural resource um, because it's the only thing that fucking computers can't do. You know what I'm saying? It's like right. music is becoming ah uh, whatever the fuck uh, all all this other shit. Everything is ah uh, we already got that shit. But an entertainer, you look at Mike Epps, T.K. Kirkland. You look at these fucking comedians. You look at their fucking specials. Monique, look at their specials, and those shits are going down fucking hill. If you have an audience, if you have over twenty thousand subscribers, dog, you're prime fucking real estate. So me knowing my trage trajectory and where I'm headed, I didn't want those kind of enemies. So I said, I'm a, yeah, fuck that. I can do without those stories because I don't want to make those kind of enemies in this shit. With this money that you are about to receive, I would say if you still want to be in this music shit, if you still want to be, is that a truck? Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah, yeah. yeah um, it, if you want to... If you want to be in this music shit, I think that you should probably put money behind somebody or something because people are going to try. Because I think Gotti has some allegiance with Rock Nation or some shit like that. So I think that you should probably, you know, put that money behind somebody because they're going to try to fucking, you're going to be public enemy number one. Because, and it's like, I, I want the people to hear some of your music and shit like that so they can kind of try to make their own decision, you know what I'm saying? But for you to just, like, as far as the world goes, just be coming out and um, and this be how they find out who you are, it's like, a, you know, because then people got to make a decision. If I fuck with Gotti, I can't fuck with Fletcher. You know what I'm saying? And, of course, everybody wants to fuck with Goddess or not. They're trying to make you an outcast and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Well, see, so, go ahead. But well, see, that, 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 that's the thing right there. That's what I didn't want. That was one of my fears of doing this shit. Mm -hmm. But then on the flip end of it, it was like, bro, business is business, my nigga. And I understand a lot of motherfuckers out there don't know business. So they don't. They don't. a lot of shit that they won't understand. But mm -hmm. at the end of the day, 
bro, ain't nobody taking no hits like that. I mean, and they they not. Dog, dog, pure point blank, dog. At the end of the day, these motherfuckers, the real people in the real world, is not letting motherfuckers walk off with eighty five dollars. Let a, let alone eighty five thousand. Dog, yeah. you're right. To drop a song the right way, you do have to clear the way. A lot of these niggas, these SoundCloud retarded niggas, would they just think that I'm just gonna go record a song and then record a video and put the video on YouTube and I'm gonna put the the fucking song on fucking um SoundCloud and, and fucking yeah it's gonna pop. Dog, nobody fucking knows you. Why in the fuck would they listen to your song? Nobody's looking for your. So you have to put out a whole rollout, meaning I'm going to pay this person, this person, this person, so that they I can do an interview here. This person's going to put me on their platform, this, this, and this, so everybody will be aware of this motherfucking project I'm putting out. If you don't do that, if you don't do that, then it don't matter who you got a song with. That bitch is not going to go anywhere because Gotti, Gucci, fucking Sauce Walker, they do songs with hundreds of fucking artists, but the fuck... Because every artist believes, oh, I got a song with fucking Sauce Walker. Oh, man, this shit finna blow up. No, my nigga. No. Because Sauce Walker is not going to promote it. Moneybag Yo is not going to promote it. Uh, Kevin Gates is not going to promote the song he has with you. What you work to them was just a fucking chick. And I think with this situation going down like this, it's going to cause a lot of awareness with rappers, like big rappers like Kevin Gates, Yo Gotti, et cetera, they're going to be looking twice now at the artists that they're getting the money from. Um, shout out to my nigga. Uh, As they should. Yeah. As they should. And, and, like, and that's mean. good business. That, that's good business. But a lot, you know, when you live in that rapper life like this, you're like, you know what I'm saying, we're just picking up bags and shit like that. And other than that, you can have a manager who's supposed to be, you know, uh, expediting all these things, and maybe you don't get the call. But with your situation, is different because you actually have, like I said, we're going to show the emails and shit like that. So he he was directly in contact with you, but that's with an artist. I want you, the big artist, y'all need to start, man, you need to holler at your fucking manager and see what the fuck he got going on because this type of shit can happen. And then as far as him being on a yacht the day of court, we have to understand that this is what the courts are here for. The courts are here to tear us the fuck down. But we have to, <laughs> it's like, you know, because motherfuckers might be trying to hit you with, ah, oh, man, you taking it to the white man. Okay, all right, so let's run that one. If he didn't take it to the goddamn white man, so what, he supposed to be out $100,000? You niggas out this bitch, and I know you, I know you bitches ain't talking. As, much, as, as many niggas y'all take the goddamn child support, I know the fuck y'all ain't talking. Nigga, this is what the fuck it is. Niggas can't take these type of losses. Hundred thousand dollars? Are you fucking serious? And then I and, and I'm putting this shit down as an investment for myself. That's like if you have a business, if you you got a landscaping business, you give a company fucking a hundred thousand dollars to find you different yards, big yards and shit like that, and they never produce. What the fuck are you gonna do? This is your business. Outside of what rapper we like, outside of how their songs make us feel, I have a family to provide for. I just lost a hundred thousand dollars. Somebody has to pay for this shit. You know what I'm saying? Right. And, and, and it's and it's crazy, man, because going after an artist like Yo Gotti that we all fucking love, it's like. I guess, and, and, and it's crazy to say, but it's like these artists know that they have crazy, insane fan bases that going to fuck with them either way. And then knowing, just like with the, the whole uh, Cam Cohart and the baby situation, no matter what the truth is, people are going to ride with the more famous person every day of the week. So all the, the fucking, all the famous, all the famous person has to do is say, oh, he lying. And they don't give a fuck about the facts of the matter. Oh, uh, nah, that, that little nigga lying. So it's like, man, and then plus, and, and on top of that shit, no matter what the fuck you do, these motherfuckers probably wouldn't support you no goddamn way. You know what I'm saying? Even if you did drop the goddamn guy that's on, they probably still wouldn't fucking support it. So this might be better for you anyway. You know what I'm saying? Just in, in this age of uh, uh, temporary fucking fans, I say, man, get your money and, 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 and put this shit, because all rappers is trying to do, it's rappers that's in the game that ain't getting no motherfucking you know what I'm saying, $6 million. You know what I'm saying? All rappers try to do is get a, a lump sum of money so they can invest it somewhere else because they understand that this music business is extremely fickle and it's hard as fuck to make real money for a real period of time. You know what I'm saying? So, man, get right. your money, man, handle your business, put that shit in investment somewhere, 
and, and keep moving, man. It's just I understand where you're coming from because you love to do music. Um, you fuck with Gotti as an artist, as we all do. I don't think anyone has a problem with Gotti um, at all. You know what I'm saying? He's helped so many black men, um, and that'll be another reason. But it, I'm t- <laughs> I'm thinking about black youngster. You know how he'll respond to this shit? Like y'all little bitty bitch, y'all niggas hating and all that, that stuttering bullshit, yeah. and you know trying to make it seem as if you did something wrong when we just heard the whole story. And when it comes down to it, hey, man, all I want is to be able to drop my song. If y'all don't fuck with me because I didn't sign with y'all, all all good. Hey, man, I just want to drop my song. That's all I want to do. Y'all are going to cease it. it, Y'all going to hit me with a fucking cease and desist to where I can't can't get my $20,000, my $100,000 worth? Do you know how much shit you just fucked up? Let's say take the money out the shit. The time that I put into not only doing this song, but planning on the, the, the however long rollout. Fetty Watt was pushing that, uh, that Trap Queen song for two fucking years. You know what I'm saying? You don't know how long I was uh, planning on uh, promoting this fucking song and this single. And so that's, that's why you will get potential earnings, because you don't know how much I could have made off of fucking... Um, Streaming services, especially with me putting this much money in the promotion of the fucking song. You have artists that are making, you know, okay money off of streaming services just by putting a thousand dollars into it uh, for different playlists and shit like that. Which y'all spend a hundred thousand dollars, you know, y'all had y'all shit together. So I, 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 I'm looking at it, and it's a fucked up situation only because you're going against someone that everyone loves, and that's and it seems like those are the interviews that I get. I get the interviews with people who are going against the person that everyone fucks with. So automatically, clout chaser, hater, lame-ass niggas are the, the exact, you know, that's the title that they always throw on me and the person I'm interviewing because it's like, I, I, but so you didn't hear anything that was said? You didn't hear what this man said, that he gave $20,000 and the people that he met with about his song was trying to sign him when he said, no, I'm not trying to sign because he was loyal to the people he came with. For him being loyal, he got hit with a cease and desist. So now he has a song that may be worth fucking fuck it. Let's, uh, nigga, because if any of y'all was in this situation, y'all would say the same thing. You, you are left with a song that's probably worth millions, you know what I'm saying? And you can't do shit with it. So you're just left with a fucking CD like it ain't shit. Left with a bill. Nah, nigga, we really left with a bill. Yeah, a, 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 a plastic CD and a fucking bill. And I'm just out this bitch because I wouldn't sign with y'all. Because what it sounds like is, what it sounds like is, you see that I have my own money. I'm putting my own money forward. Or maybe y'all just didn't want this verse to come out. So y'all think, and all my local independent artists, I want y'all to listen. Listen to how they tried to sign him. After, you know what I'm saying, he had paid his money. That's the same thing fucking uh, the baby did with Stunner for Vegas. And you don't know what kind of fucked up deal he got that nigga Stunner for Vegas on. You know what I'm saying? After he's seen he'll pay his money, then he signs him. You know what I'm saying? So you tie him into a, uh, any type of, just you got to look at these situations. These labels, getting signed isn't as glamorous as it used to be in the 90s. Getting signed right. nowadays is allowing someone to attach a ball and chain on your ankle and then tell you to work the best you can for them. You can't move around. I'm telling you, the artists that are in deals right now, if they could, they would tell you how much they hate their situation. As Money Man, as fucking uh, Glock 9, ask these people how hard, and I'm not just talking about artists from fucking Cash Money. It's every artist. These labels are putting ball and chain, not just around your ankle, but around your fucking neck. Getting signed is not all that is cracked up to be. Everything that they give you, they want back with interest. So they feel like, they're, now they're correct in thinking and knowing that if it wasn't for me, no one would have known you. So everything you make from this point forward is mine. So I should get everything that you get for at least four years after you pop off. And so that's why it seems like you'll have an eight-year... I I can understand that shit, but do you understand that shit? As independent artists, you have to understand all the fame that you gain from a label, they will be compensated for that. 
Don't wait until you get popping and now, oh, man, they got me on this bullshit contract. No, 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 no. It wasn't bullshit when they did their side. When they upheld their side of the bargain, it wasn't bullshit. Now it's time for you to uphold your side. At the beginning of the, t- at the deal, you should say, okay, what you guys want from me after I get popping, which I know I'm going to get popping, I know that I'm going to get on. But what you're asking for for me once I get on is too much. You know what I'm saying? And, and I feel like if in today's era labels are playing niggas the way they're playing them because they feel like you're a bitch, they feel like you're a bitch because all the tools that they're going to use, you have at your disposal. So if you can't use the tools yourself and do it, they feel like you're a bitch. And, and it, like, bitch, you're supposed to get paid what I pay you, bitch. <clears throat> And that's, that's how I feel that labels look at people like, you can go out here and patch your shit out. You can go out here and do everything that they're doing because all the tools they have, you have them now. You know what I'm saying? So that's why the, the contracts be so fucked up. But in this situation, you have somebody who didn't do what every artist does, which is I'm going to fuck over the niggas that I came with for some niggas that I don't even know just because they're shining more right now. That's bullshit, and that shit does not get upheld enough. Niggas doing the gangster shit, niggas doing the loyal shit, niggas doing the real shit no longer is celebrated, but it's fucking laughed at. You get laughed at and, and, and called names for doing the real shit, for doing the loyal shit. You get fucked over nowadays. And then niggas wonder why niggas just ain't doing shit but snitching. Why the fuck wouldn't they snitch? You niggas is throwing the snitches party. And, and the niggas who, who came home after doing 20 years and standing up, you niggas won't even throw them a sack to get on. You niggas fuck them niggas over. So it, it's just right, like, man, it, it, this shit, man, it, it, it's enough of this shit, dog. Everybody fuck with God. We salute God and we love what the fuck is going on. But he's also a fucking human. If he did something wrong, he did something wrong. The man comes to the table trying to get back what he lost. Ain't nothing wrong with that. That's it. That's all. That's, that's, that's been my whole mission the whole fucking time throughout this whole process. Bro, let's get to an understanding. Fuck the court shit. Let's say fuck the whole court shit. Goddamn, let's let, let's let, can me and you have a, a conversation, a man to man, hmm. and say, look, I'm going to give you your bread back, and I'm going to give you this amount of money back, because I know some time was, was, was wasted with this right here. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? If, if we could do that, bro, let's do it. You know what I'm saying? Like, we didn't... I, first of all, the $6.6 million is, is out there. You know what I'm saying? Like, I... Never in a million years thought that that shit would ever circulate to being that number. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, bottom line was, you know what I'm saying? Like, hey, if we could get this shit taken care of without it going to social media, without it going how it's going, like, let's do it. Behind the we scenes. We've been that shit for two years. But we have been doing that for years. Mm-hmm. I'm talking about playing ourselves. I'm talking about inboxing this man, knowing that possibly, the possibility of him even looking at his inbox and shit. Bro, we were just trying to get to the bottom of the shit. We didn't want to go this route. That was never my intentions at all. See, and that, so. and, and, that's, and, and, and and for all y'all that's listening to this shit and y'all got all these motherfucking uh, uh, nigga, all these things that a nigga could have did, that's why we're going to be watching the comments and like I said, I'm going to drop I'm gonna drop the song in this video right here. I'm going to drop the email so you can see what the fuck is going on. But at the end of the day, put your put yourself in a man's situation when he goes and kind of, that's why that's why I feel like DMX is my favorite rapper. I never want to meet DMX because usually when you meet the person, <laughs> you know, the, the person that you admire, no matter who they are, they're gonna let you down. You know what I'm saying? Because you you have unrealistic expectations of them. You know what I'm saying? So it, it sometimes it's just better just to admire from afar. You know what I mean? So you know you yep. you, you contact so if, for all you local artists, all you independent people. Just look at it like I contact an artist that I've always dreamed of working with, and he holler back at me. You just so happy and shit like that. And he give you a number, you send him the song, and then he take the number down by $10,000. Oh, man, so now you hype as fuck. Then um, you send him the money. He sent a song back, everything all good, and they they tell you to come up there to the label. You thinking, oh man, this shit, I, I'm I'm living my dream. Then they hit you with that bullshit. They hit you with that bullshit, and then everything start going left. Now you can't get in touch with motherfuckers. 
You know what I'm saying? And then you still have the integrity in you not to run to social media. That is what needs to be seen in this whole situation. This was not taken to social media until TMZ brought it there. Right. Take that in consideration. There are hints and clues to niggas being clout chasers, <clears throat> to niggas being Internet niggas. That wasn't shown in this situation. We didn't know about this shit until they put this shit out. Not, ah, oh, yeah, I mean, this nigga, young Fletcher, the goddamn, oh, uh, young Fletcher, yeah, this nigga that's chasing down your guy. That, no, 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 no. Not until this shit hit the motherfucking waves, man. But, you know, it just, it just be blowing me sometimes, man, because it's just like you can give people all the information. You can give them, like, everything they need mm-hmm. to see that you were wrong and you're a genuine person, and they'll still... Just because they're group ass niggas. And you know what? Maybe it's, you know, because Moneybag Yo and, and Black Youngster and all the people that got it put on, you know, just because they're loyal to God. It, uh, fuck that nigga and shit like that. All right, it's all good. Fuck that nigga. But it's like, if God had fucked you over, if God had, had you in a bad deal, you do the same fucking thing. Loyalty, <laughs> loyalty doesn't, um, what is that, supersede. Uh, business. It just doesn't happen. You know, in, in his case, in Fletcher's case, it did because he went into an office with a label that's bigger than the label he's on, and he didn't let the fact that they were bigger make him waver. He stayed down with his niggas. You know what I'm saying? And I think that's extremely honorable because you don't see that nowadays. You just don't see that nowadays. But I guarantee you it's going to be real niggas it's going to be real independent labels that hearing this story and be like, man, I salute that young nigga. I salute that young nigga because they've been fucked over. And if they haven't been fucked over, that's what they will want their artists to do because everybody's trying to get to where you're at. You know what I'm saying? They're trying to get to that point where I'm hollering at artists, we're paying them for features, but we don't, we're not signing with them. We're just collaborating with them. I'm not under you. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm trying to do a deal with you. It's, it's some partnership. But a lot of times what an artist will do is make you a part of them so they can always keep you under their thumb. That's their way of, you know what I'm saying, being your ruler. So they'll see potential in you. They won't let you reach your potential. They'll just keep you up under them. So they, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, that, that's my little nigga. That's my little nigga. And, and that's, that's, that's a whole other subject and shit like that. But like I said, man, this is a crazy situation, and um, I, did, I just hope for the best, man, in this whole thing. But I, I just want everybody just to take from this shit what needs to be taken and uh, don't look at this shit like, you know, uh, this nigga against that nigga. Look at this shit as right and wrong. You know what I'm saying? Did the judge have to triple that fucking uh, shit? Hell no. But the only reason you're looking at that in a bad way is because you're not the person getting the money. If you were the person getting the goddamn money, and and let me get this shit clear. Also, also, let me get this shit clear. This nigga is not paying me. He's not fucking paying me. You know what I'm saying? A nigga reached out to me, uh, told me what's going on. All right, let's do it. There's not no payment going on. I'm just listening to this shit just like everybody else is listening to this shit. And the way I hear it, Nigga ain't did nothing wrong. And that's just pure point blank. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it is what it is, man. Um, any projects you're working on now, trying to get out there or something? Definitely, bro. I'm in the process right now. I'm in New York right now working on my project uh, called Seven Days and Seven Nights. That'll be dropping <clears throat> August 3rd. So that's what I'm working on right now. Um and I'm going to, I'm going the whole route without no features. Like I ain't fucking with you. <laughs> 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 I know that's no real. On this. Well, definitely. I'm not rapping. I'm a singer, so you know what I'm saying? Niggas will really be able to hear my music and know exactly what's going on. I don't know how my favorite is getting I'm a rapper with all that shit, but nah. I'm I got a new project, seven days, seven nights is dropping August third. Okay, and then and then you do um the motherfucker thing you just popped up, didn't you do background singing for Trey Songs? Yeah, so I did that shit for like a year, year and a half. Um, I was working, we had the same management at that time, mm. um, probably about five, six years ago. But that was, I, I'm going to say that was like my kickoff, you know what I'm saying? That was really me really stepping into the business and just being around industry motherfuckers and learning how to move and all of that shit. So, yeah, I, this, I ain't new at this shit. Mm-hmm. 
although I'm just now stepping out as a solo artist, really putting myself out there more. But no, nah, I've been doing this shit, bro. Okay. Well, definitely, because, you know, motherfuckers, this, a lot of times, this is motherfuckers' gimmick. Their gimmick is to latch on to a big artist, and that's their come up and shit like that. Um, and, and when I say latch on, I mean latch on in a bad way. You know, you got people like, um, what's the nigga with Trippy Red? Chris King and shit like that. Um, he's fucking with him and shit like that um, in a positive way. You know what I'm saying? You back up singing for Trey songs. Um, Positive shit, you know what I'm saying? But a lot of times, nigga want to yeah. like, like I finesse two times, did money bag, yo. This is the 50 cent route, you know what I'm saying? Attach yourself to a big artist and, you know, go from there. But like I said, I salute what you're doing, man. Uh, I'm definitely going to have, um, what is it, your YouTube channel? Like, what you got? Look, YouTube channel, Instagram. I'm going to put all those links in the description box so people can see that shit. I'm sure you're going to get a lot of people come over that bitch with that hating shit, but I'm sure you're expecting that already. Yeah, it's good, but they. they... They coming out the woodwork, but I ain't worried about this shit. <laughs> I, I already know it. I already know it, man. Just, just keep working and shit like that, and we're going to rock out. Like I said, I'm going to send you my email, and we're just going to get to it. Let's do it. All right, say no more, bro. All 